Welcome back to Theme Journals. I'm April. Uh, we're back to mask making. I am. Um, oh, I've got a, a laundry downstairs in the laundry room. Oh, shoot. Totally forgot about that. I've been in, sitting here crafting for a few minutes while I wait on the next load to get dried and done in the washer. Uh, okay, well. I'll finish this and then go down there and do that. So I'm still doing the um, um, inside of the journal cover. Sorry, brain fart there. Ugh. Ugh. So anyway, um, I just thought I'd turn this on and bring you along for the ride. So, um, oh yes, and I didn't really touch on this yesterday, but my sister got me two bottles of this. It's Aileen's Liquid Fusion. It's made from... Uh, oh, let me look. It's made from urethane adhesive, four ounces. It stinks to high heaven, so if you're sensitive to smell, it may not be a good fit for you. It also says that it takes uh, uh, It'll dry within two to four hours, but for maximum hold, it's to a 24-hour glue dry. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll let you know how that goes and how it sticks in my um, honest appraisal of it. Um, I'm glad my sister only got a, two bottles. I, I probably won't go back to using it because, like I said, it stinks. I've got a migraine just from using it I had been using it to glue I glued four more of these uh, books together you know and so I uh, got a migraine from that so yeah it does stinky baby quite a bit actually so We'll try that. Boy, I didn't realize what a headache that had given me. Yeah, so maybe not for indoor use. It says indoor outdoor use, but yeah, <laughs> about that. Look how pretty that one is. Oh, I'm so glad I got this paper. I'm so excited about it. All right, excellent. Very pretty. All right, we'll back it up onto. Okay, so you get to see me use this. Um, So it does come out clear as you know it is a clear adhesive um it seems to glue quite quickly um or for it to grab pardon me grab real quickly so that's a plus um i was quite shocked to see a two to four hour drying period along with a 24 hour uh 
maximum hold. So that was quite the shock. But if that's the least of my problems today, then I don't have any problems at all. All right. Oops. Oops. That sounded bad. Sorry. All right. So I am appreciative, Tisha. I'm just saying that, you know, as a crafter who wants to get things done quickly, a uh, 24-hour grab isn't going to work most times. Now, for this particular job, it's perfect because I have to leave it under books anyway. And so that's fine. Um, I usually leave the these things, these particular portions of the journals under the books for 24 hours anyway. Um, cause I want them to hold, I want them coming up. So that's okay with me that this glue is 24 hours. So it's no big deal. Um, other portions of the projects, um, yeah, I can't have that big glue like that, but no worries. Um, I'm going to be ordering uh, my beacon glue with this next order anyway. Um, I've learned to buy two of them together because usually Amazon does not secure the uh, bottles in the box they send it in. And because they rattle around, or rattle around in the box, the glue, the, it somehow, the rattling around uh, takes the lids off the glue. Yeah. Not a very bright way to do things, but you know, whatever. Now, when it's thin, like see here on the sides, it's thin and now that thin mark will dry quickly, but if it's thicker or inside, I, I don't know. Maybe they were talking about 24 hours if you're using it on ceramic. The instructions weren't really that clear. So if you use this glue, uh, Aileen's Liquid Fusion, please write in the comments below um, and answer a few of my questions since this is the first time I've used it. Um, does it take two to four hours to dry or is it depending on what you're gluing together? Does it take that long for paper to dry um, and, pa and paper and fabric? Because that's what I work with. Um, exclusively so if you know please do write in the comments I would love to hear from you all right now okay those are all ready to go right there All right. Just taking off a smaller strip off of this um, sheet because it looks like it, there's a stain on it that's been in there forever and yeah we'll just avoid that problem on the journal okay Oops. <laughs> All right, April, let's get this going right. Right. Yeah, my dog is 
down on the floor chewing on his bony. So that's what's scraping on the floor. Sorry about that. Hope it doesn't bother you too much. I usually just ignore it. But he's been chewing up his bed and for whatever reason, he's decided that he's gonna start chewing holes in that. He is a voracious chewer. I don't know how to cure him of it. Um, Do that one little corner right there. And let's do this one over here. 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 <laughs> All right, that's good enough. Now, the funny thing is, is I can't find my bottles um, to put the um, liquid fusion in. I got two more bottles left, so I've got to find those in my mess of a room. I desperately need to organize, but that's not going to happen until I'm done with these Mother's Day's journals. And... Um, Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Hmm. Where's my folder ah here it is I only use this bone folder for this when I'm doing the centers putting the fabric in to get that crease nice otherwise I use my shorter bone folder for everything else because that's this one's not made out of real bone this is plastic and my other bone folder is made out of real bone. But if that freaks you out, you go right ahead and use your plastic. I just, it doesn't bother me. Now, if you said it was human bone, then it would bother me. But, yeah, cow bone or whatever, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I just run the bottle across the fabric on the outside and on the inside and down the middle. And I sometimes will put a dribble of glue in the crease right there just to make sure that there's enough in the crease to adhere it to. Yeah. All right. Now... All right, this time I remembered to measure both sides so I can only have to bring this thing down once. <laughs> oh, there's some days, some days, I wonder about myself. <laughs> Ever have those days? All right. Oh yeah, let's skip this through here and do both sides. Oh, shoot. All right. Here we are. All right. Now I can go ahead and snip both of these at the same time. I keep on trying to remind myself, do all the light things at once so that you don't have to come back to it. Mm, 
Sometimes I remember and sometimes I'm like, dee dee dee. Yeah. I definitely think this uh, liquid fusion is a little wetter than the Benson Beacon 3-in-1. Yeah. That's okay. Beggars cannot be choosers, and I'm a beggar, so. <laughs> I didn't ask my sister to do this. Don't get me wrong. It was her generosity that did it, and I appreciate it. Um, my philosophy is when you get stuff for free, you say thank you, and you move on. But I also want to be an honest, you know, user of materials so that, you know, anybody watching thinking, oh, that might be interesting to use. And I want to give you a real lowdown on it so that you can make a decision on whether or not you would like to buy it. Not sponsored, just trying to, you know, answer questions before they come up. There we go. See, this is why I think it's a little bit wetter than, see how it warples here? Yeah, that's why I'm thinking it's a little bit wetter than the normal Beacon 3-in-1. Because when I use Beacon, that doesn't warple like that with paper. It does if when I use my Mod Podge, but that's to be expected, totally expected. So, that's... Ugh. I got too much stuff on my desk once again. All right. Don't get on my desk. No, no, no. Don't get on my chair, boo-boo. Mommy's almost done. All right. And yes, I would lie to him. <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh... But he's in the middle of chewing up his bed. And he's in the little doghouse with mommy right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I tell him all the time, you're lucky you're cute because, oh my, you are something else you are. Well, I'm talking about you. What you gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. Oh, I better watch out because you like to chew my, my aglets. Yep, he's an aglet chewer. brand new Nikes and I don't have any aglets. <laughs> uh. All right.
All right, here we go. I don't know that is, since it's white, it's harder to hide. So I may have to do a little inking on this one. Um, oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. And as I've said before, I'm probably the YouTube's worst video videographer. Oh, well. All right, so that one is ready to go. When what's happening is if all of my clamps are holding down papers and they are um under books so I, I don't have any nope stay down bandit um so i don't have any um what do you call it so i don't have any uh clamps at the moment so yeah so i'm just preparing the next batch to be put under clamps and i do that um i've done that off screen so far um, with the last couple of batches, um, except for the first mass making video I did, um, I, I sh showed you what I did, and yeah, I'm sure you you guys do something similar to that. Ugh. how crooked I, I cut yep sometimes I can cut straight as a whistle and other times forget about it <laughs> oh yeah true story These do clip on pretty good, so I am impressed with that. Ooh, April. Put the lids on. You would think after ruining my glue, my glue stick, that I would remember that. Yeah, good luck with that. All right, I think that's good enough at the moment. Do, 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 All right. Sorry, sometimes I don't realize I start doing tuneless songs. I don't really need to send the rest of my subscribers fleeing because I can't keep a tune. I'm the first to admit that. Ooh wee.
Yeah, just a minute, boo. Mama's got to go downstairs, too. I know, Snow is outside, I'm sure. That's why you're carrying on. But she was outside earlier, and you just wanted to bark at everybody. So that wasn't cool. And she's leaving probably tomorrow morning. Yep, she's going on a little vacation. Just like her mom and dad are. That's right. Snow is a husky. White is snow, hence her name. Blue eyes, beautiful dog. No, brown eyes. She has brown eyes. Thor is another husky, and he's got blue eyes. Like, blue. They're almost, they're so blue, they're almost white. They're, he's one beautiful dog. And uh, anyway, he and... Getting back on track, Snow and Bandit are best friends. And he went out earlier to say hi to her, and he decided to bark up a storm rather than play with Snow. Yeah, my boy thinks he's a, a husky. Ha, ha, ha. They've got flowers in opposite corners, so that's how I'm going to do this one. All right. First, we're going to do this side. Okay. And then... All right, let's see if I can get that, this one right. Mm, okay, here it is. Here it is. All right, flush against this end. Oh. And this one is at the A, right there. All right, flush. Yeah, let's scoot you over then, April. All right. This one is on a line somewhere. Oh, here it is. All right, and off. Oh, this is the one on the line. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I've got to find some more cereal boxes. <laughs> yeah, isn't that thrilling? All right, well, we're getting up on the 30-minute mark. I'm going to glue this D on, and I'm going to let you all go. Um, I hope you are enjoying my theme journal journey as much as I am. I have so much fun doing this. Um I hope you'll like the video and subscribe to my channel um, so that you can be notified when the next bit of content comes out. Um, that would be great. Uh, I welcome everybody. I'd just like to point out that I do have a Theme Journals Facebook page 
And if you are crafting along with me, show, share with me if you are using any of my ideas. I'd be happy. I would love to see your take on what I'm doing. And um, if you're not, share what you're working on anyway, so we can inspire each other and get to know each other. And I think that'd be grand fun. All right, so you have a great evening, or I should say day, because you won't see this until the morning on Tuesday. Well, the good news is about this glue is it doesn't stain what you're working on, so that's nice. And uh, so you have a lovely day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!